Alright, today I'm going to go pick up a new front bumper, or I guess my new front bumper for my 350Z. I went ahead and bought a, I think it's a Nismo Style 2 or Nismo 2 Style or something like that, front bumper off of the Crez, and it's made out of like polyurethane or something like that. I was going to get like a cheap one, but I was told that to stay away from the cheap one, so I kind of went like a mid-range. It's still not like 100% authentic, but hopefully it'll be good enough. Uh, I'm not too worried about it, but it does come unpainted, obviously, so I dropped it off to have it painted last week, and I'm about to go pick it up right now. By the way, I just wanted to say thank you for all the support I've been getting lately. On my last video I made, it was of the uh, Civic Type R. I think it's up to like 6,000 views right now, which is just incredible. That's pretty much more than any video, any of my, all my videos put together, all in one. Um, I think I'm at a total of like 13,000 views as per the channel and then up to 70 something subscribers which is about a 15 jump from the previous video so thank you guys so much for all the support i've been getting i can't wait to make more content for you guys and uh thanks for watching all right i just made it here i'm just letting him know that i am here By the way, I absolutely hate these uh, little shift knobs here. I think it's one of the dumbest things I've ever seen in a truck, especially, let alone. Like, I've seen like little Ford Fusions and they have them like right here, it's like a little knob. Those ones are okay, but I just, I don't like that. I don't even know where I'm gonna actually put it. I mean, I could put it in the bed, but I don't want to scratch it, so I might try to fit it in the back seat. I did bring some like towels and stuff just in case I do put it in the bed, I can put it underneath it and hopefully keep it safe. It's not that far of a drive, so I'm not too worried about it. We're currently following him back into where his, their shop is at. Looks a little sketch, but sometimes you can't judge based on what people work out of. You can get good work out of a small place, I guess. It's pretty cheap though, it's only like $300 to get this thing painted, so... Okay, here we go. It's back over here. Just park the truck somewhere over here. Oh, there it is. Oh, dang. Be a lot easier, yeah. I'm a little worried about the bumper. It didn't come out perfect. It's a little sketch, but sometimes you can't judge based on what people work at. I didn't really expect it to, but. I was expecting a little bit better. The paint itself looks good. There's just a few spots where I wanted it red and then the pieces of it black. I'll show you guys later. But yeah, there's just some little bit of things like that. And then I'm just worried about the bumper actually like the fitment on it and how well it's gonna be. Because right now it, it kind of bent and molded a little bit and I'm kind of worried about that. But yeah, it's in, the way he had it laying in the sun, it kind of molded it a little bit. I hope I can get the fitment to be good. I might have to take it to a different place to get it like really fitted. I don't know. We're just gonna have to see. I still need to mount the uh, Nissan logo on there, but it looks pretty good. The guy that painted it kind of fucked it up. I'll, there's, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but there's some fuck ups like right there. Along down the side, looks like a uh, third grader painted it. I learned to never use that guy again, that's for sure. But it's not too bad. 
I'll probably end up getting it repainted sometime, but the fitment's actually pretty good. There's some little spots like this overhangs a little bit there. This is a little close. It did chip it in the corner, but I mean the hood fitment's really good. Just some little stuff, but overall, I think it looks really good. I'm not super happy with the way the paint came out. I mean, it's pretty bad in some spots, like especially right there, that's a run. And then you can see the orange peel on the camera right there. There's a lot of little imperfections like that. The bug, a bug already went through my clear coat. But I'm gonna have it redone in probably a couple weeks, hopefully anyways. But other than that, I really like it. If you're from a distance, it looks really good. But just from up close, it doesn't look that good. But I love the style of it. It looks super good on this car. I don't really like the Nismo and I think it's the Nismo style of three bumpers because they stick out way too far. The nose is really big, but I feel like this one's a good in between. Thanks for watching guys. Um, I will keep you updated on if I get this repainted. I should in the next week or so, hopefully. But what do you guys think about not putting anything right here? I have mesh to put in here, but I don't know if I'm going to put it in there or not. I think I'm just going to leave it open and paint all this inside black. But I don't know. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next one.